Hello everyone, this is Ujwal and I have a brand new video for you today here on the Dress My Craft channel. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. So for today's video, I decided to do some art journaling. I have, I love doing this uh, just to relax and it's great fun to experiment and just to, you know, relax yourself, de-stress yourself and yeah, just play with your supplies. So I thought I'd use uh, uh, the tra transfer me sheets and have some fun. So these are the ones that I picked out. I absolutely love the Torn newspaper and the Torn magazines, the vintage measurement tapes. And then I have this one from the Timeless Beauty. This coordinates with the June collection, the paper collection that came out. And then I have this one that says Life Quotes. I love adding um, quotes in my journal. They are um, great motivators. So I thought maybe I'll use something from here. And then I have this one, which is like a very cute scripted diary vintage kind of uh, background. And then I have this one. This has some beautiful birds here. So I may or may not use all of them, but yeah, the idea is uh, to use transforming sheets. Along with that, I also have uh, this hexagon stencil. This is called, sorry, this is called honeycomb stencil. So I may combine this uh, with the transforming sheets. I will also be uh, using the newest releases, one of which is this um, silicone spatula brush. It's absolutely great to just crease out and uh, the transforming sheets and then of course applying other mediums etc and use with the stencil maybe. I will also be trying to use this one. This is the blending brush set and there are four brush, uh, brushes in there and these are like really soft and wonderful. So maybe this and then other things like markers and some paints. So for paints, I'm thinking I will use some watercolors. So you can use any watercolors you like. I will be using this palette. Uh, most probably the blues and the grays. So this is the palette that I have here. And this is how it is. So let's see how it goes. Uh, so just to break the blank page here, I'm going with uh, the two shades of blue and you will see that I'm being very random. Um, I don't mind having brush strokes uh, seen on the paper. Actually, I want to have brush strokes there because they really add to the whole character and add more interest. So um, add splotches of play paint however you like. There is no right or wrong here. It all absolutely looks wonderful at the end once you've finished your project so i'm just going to quickly kind of give it a whole blue wash and add a little bit of darker blue here and there and then dilute it at some points or some places and yeah so that's the whole thing it is just to uh, break the plain page just to um, have a starting point uh, of this uh, journaling layout and as I said, no right or wrong, have as many brush strokes as you like. Um, it all looks and adds uh, to the final layout. So don't worry about having harsh brush strokes or random color splotches. It's just wonderful. And just to make the process quicker, I'm going to use the Dress My Craft heat gun. Uh, this is a great tool to have um, to just, you know, uh, make the process easier and faster. I'm going to dry out this page completely so that I can work um, onto the, I can build the next layer. So now I have some acrylic paint. You can use any acrylic paint that you have at hand or even chalk paint works. And I'm just kind of uh, muting down some of the areas that I thought uh, looked really dark than I wanted it to be. So I've just added some white acrylic paint. And once that is dry too, I'm using this uh, wonderful honeycomb stencil here. And I'm going to position it so that I can get a variety uh, of sizes of hexagon onto the page. And same white acrylic paint, use a chalk paint or even gesso, that works too. And I'm going to work with my fingers and just 
push the paint in through the stencil so this is going to give a visual texture more than the tangible texture so it's all flat on the page but you will be able to see all these layers pop up uh, against the blue background so i'm trying to add uh, as many different sizes of hexagons as possible just for added interest and they look really good together that way and then i'm going to do the same thing on the other page as well by the way working with your fingers instead of a paintbrush is a different kind of therapy so if you haven't tried it yet just try it once paint with your fingers like we did when we were children and it relaxes your mind immediately all right again i went ahead and dried uh, the paint out with the heat gun and now i've picked out all these um transfer me sheets and i'm going to start with the torn magazine one i really love these little strips of papers that are there in the transfer me sheets and i'm going to build a little uh, random background uh, using these little strips of paper so all you have to do is just cut out the strip of paper and because these have these have a transparent background you don't really have to fuzzy cut them as such um, just cut close as close as you want uh, to the design and that's it then peel off the packing lay it onto the page where you want it to be i'm still figuring the, that out here whether i wanted horizontal or whether i wanted vertical and then i actually went with the vertical uh, position and then I'm going to use the silicon brush to kind of remove the creases if any and then a wet brush uh, to apply some water so that the transfer me can transfer on the page underneath and you can see it's that easy so I'm going to do this multiple times and I'm going to just put some nice music for you here uh, to enjoy this process again it was very therapeutic to do this uh, really easy to there's no right and wrong here and again i'm going with the wet brush here and you will see how easily that backing will come off and you have the design transfer on your page all right so sit back and enjoy while i build uh, this background
so once I have a little background going on, I decided to use this vintage bird image uh, to add a focal point for the uh, page. And I'm also going to cut out the little foliage uh, that's there um, on this particular transformation sheet just to build more interest and, you know, uh, add complexity. So adding quotes is one of the most integral part of my art journaling process because I love having these reminders, these motivators uh, to keep me going whenever I'm feeling low or whenever things are not going my way or even when I'm really happy, I kind of like to flip through the art journal pages, just read through these motivational quotes and I just instantly feel better. So I'm adding another one here that says the only way to do great work is to love what you do. And I could not agree less. It's I think when you love what you do, uh, you do it with all your heart. You put in all that you've got and the results are always, always spectacular. So I'm adding this uh, wonderful quote from the Life Quotes um, sheet the transformation sheet and then i'm adding some more foliage here and there uh, just to kind of uh, balance the other page out Next, I'm using a charcoal pencil to just highlight the focal point and add a little bit of shadow to the main elements here, like the spanner and the board, and a little bit of foliage. And then I have a micron pen, or you can use any marker, and I'm just scribbling words of encouragement um, randomly here and there. And of course, the last step is to add some splatters which will bring the whole thing together and make it all cohesive so some black watercolor splatters with the brush here and once that was done i wanted to add a little bit of border kind of a defining border to this page so i'm using the blending brush along with the peeled paint distress oxide i'm just uh gently rubbing it along the edges here just adding it a bit randomly and that is where i realized that my splatters weren't dry yet so i again got out the heat gun this is really a very handy tool to just quickly finish your work uh, and speed up the process. So now that they are dry, I'm going back in with the Distress Oxide and the blending brush. These brushes are so soft and they are so great for stenciling and for adding color like this. Just absolutely wonderful. So I'm just going to add a little bit here and there just to balance out the yellow of the transforming sheets as well. And then I added some near the board to bring focus to it. And that's it. That's how um, this page came together. And I absolutely love it. I enjoy the entire process. Um, and just to make sure that everything remains fixed and using a varnish, this is a charcoal uh, varnish that is easier, easily available anywhere. And I'm going to let this dry. Uh, so uh, just at the end, I just want to share uh, the three transforming sheets that I actually ended up using here. So one is the vintage birds, then the life quotes, and the torn magazine, which I absolutely love. So this is the final result. I hope you give art journaling a try. You don't need a ton of su supplies to uh, have some creative fun. 
just spend these 10, 15, 20 minutes with yourself, just playing with art, just creating something and it will immediately relax your mind. So thank you so much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.